Hi there Virgo, welcome to your reading. So this is going to be a reading for all Virgo placements and if you resonate with the Virgo energy. This is an August general reading. We're going to look at your career, money and finance, then your love, your overall. I'm going to pull you a challenge, a block, a blessing and a crystal and an angel message for you. If I'm pulled to other decks, I will, I will look at those decks please note because this is august this is a future prediction so it's ideal for you to also revisit this reading as many times as you need to in august because there are future predictions and sometimes i've had clients that look back and they're like oh my god if only i knew what you were saying at the time i totally get it now so it's, it's good to always look at these readings a few times. If you want a personalised reading, my email's in the description box below and all my services as well. And um, like I said, check your sun, moon, rising and Venus sign. Check the latest bigger card, which is a divinely guided message for you for additional guidance. There is also the latest um, elemental readings for chakra and energy check-in and upcoming is going to be a reading for elements so pair elements in terms of what's love think about you and in terms of love in general with that you're going to also want to check your moon and venus sign if you only check your sun and rising and don't really take on the advice to check all elements for accurate so virgo i hope you're all well and if you're a subscriber thank you for supporting the channel if you're new to the channel but you're re returning viewer please do like and subscribe um to help all virgo placements make sure they see this uh, message okay um let's get shuffling career money finance for virgo please spirit guides Career, money, finance, please. Career, money, and finance for Virgo placements. We've got for you death and rebirth. So there's a death and rebirth in terms of your career, money, and finance. This also could mean this Scorpio energy. This is beautiful, okay? With the death and rebirth, there's something that's definitely been karmic that is coming into balance with you. Libra energy as well here, but I don't believe we're looking at the signs just of energy being around you in your career. I believe this is what is the message for you. You're going through an end of a chapter, a rebirth, a death within your career, money and finance, and there's a rebirth here. And I believe the karmic scales are balancing out for you. So some of you could actually have been going through a bit of a difficult time in your career or finance area. And throughout August, we're having a balance come through. I definitely think this is a bit karmic. It's been karmic. But the balance means that something new must come through. And here we go. The Knight of Pentacles with the death and rebirth and the karmic justice and the Knight of Pentacles. It means that it might have been a bit hasty, slow, slow moving to come in. But your energy is here and there's something that's going to ground you. A new offer around your home. Um, for some of you, I am getting a home. Some of you, I'm getting around your career, money and finance, which is the main road. But I'm getting home for some of you. Queen of Cups, okay? that does also confirm it's around your home it's something that really you know the queen of cups is the nurturing the home um and what we need you know where we feel safe right so that is your home so some of you it could be that you're really um maybe some of you have been trying to sell a home but it's not been really going and now you're finally able to sell it but you know this home maybe it was tied to a lot of chapters and childhood memories and so on some of you this is definitely with your career you're going to get a new shift in terms of your career and it's going to be something that's really going to be fulfilling to you um, and it's going to nurture you and fulfill you in terms of um, feeling looked after okay and just be careful when you as you're getting this come through for you, this 
breakthrough. Um, the, the card is confirming the breakthrough, okay? As you get this breakthrough that you do not deplete yourself by overgiving Virgo in any way towards your career, money and finance or your home. What I really feel this means this breakthrough is going to be something that really speaks to you, you know? It's about being positive it's about good news coming in this could also mean a travel you know some of you might be moving across water into a new jurisdiction here with that um beautiful energy especially if you've been waiting on this for quite some time all right and like i said the queen of cups is someone who's emotionally intelligent the strength their empathy and leading with your heart i really feel you're going to have this opportunity in this new sort of career sector split the deck and we get the five of swords where you're letting go of a past toxic situation environment work whatever it is around your career money and finance and stability and you really it's been a bit toxic it's been um there's been also a bit of ego because you felt it toxic you've not been able to just lead with your heart and empathy like the queen of cups um and so there's a depth here of this sort of energy where you're making that change and you know the change then leads to the six of swords where you actually move away to calmer shores and that's where i also see the travel but really the five of swords was unfair experience unfair advantages that you've not been given um the experience of loss maybe hollow victories a loss of your skills and confidence and look at that where where i said the karmic scales coming into balance for you the breakthrough the eight of wands so that's really beautiful virgo you're gonna have to place it where it suits for you um and let's look at your love and money i've had some cards fall out too many love for virgo placements please i feel like some of you might have a bit of tension at the back of your head make sure you're staying hydrated i've got that on my uh, left side okay just make sure you're staying hydrated okay i don't know this camera seems to be not even at the moment So with your love, we've got what we've got for Virgo, love situation. Virgo placements, please, Spirit. Virgo placements, Virgo. Six of Wands. So you're going to have some recognition in terms of who you are, someone coming in or already in with a fair judgment on who you are being able to recognize who you are giving you the recognition you deserve for the beautiful virgo that you are and everything that you bring into to the table in terms of love there's also a better judgment from you to yourself and seeing yourself and what you can bring to the table what you have to offer and that's what you're expecting back okay you're expecting some recognition now some tarot readers might say that this could mean that you're meeting someone famous and kicks off sparks love it can okay it can mean that for me because it's a very rare a chance you know i keep it quite general but yeah i mean in the end we all meet someone right but the six of wands really means there's going to be a major success in your love situation okay being seen, being have uh, having the optimism, you're inspiring this new person who's stepping in. They feel very inspired from you. They're just in awe with you, and you also have that better judgment. I've also got the Knight of Wands here, which means there's going to be passion. Okay, place this if you're single. How it's re going? Because so far I see this could be that you're in a relationship, dating someone, is going very well okay um but if you're single this person that's coming in for you is likely to be a fire sign by the way okay strong fire energy here and with the knight of wands there's going to be great chemistry between you both and passion and adventure and alignment of your passion and adventures this could strongly be a sagittarius energy okay 
Temperance is saying have patience. Have patience within your current love situation. Have patience if you are single because that patience is bringing you this beautiful person. All right. If you're in a relationship, have patience within it. Ground yourself because it will be moving forward. OK, it will be moving forward. You just need to have patience and ground yourself. And also, if you're getting a bit too caught up in any lusty sort of mm, chemistry, I'm in lust and always thinking about them. Just ground yourself a little bit with the Sag card. Then we've got the High Priestess that's telling you, listen to your intuition, okay? It's really telling you that. So here I'm getting some of you actually are fighting between your mind that may be trying to hold you back or question with the Judgment card, is this real? Can it be real? And your intuition is telling you the correct answer, not your mental space. And there is success here. We've got Leo energy as well. There is Pisces, but very they've got very strong fire in their chart. The sun is clearing that doubt for you. As long as you listen to your intuition, you make the fair judgment call. Beautiful success is on the horizon. Success here, success here in your love life, basically. And another card, the Queen of Wands. Can you see how much fire is this person holds? Um, I think some of you also have fire in your charts, but really, the Queen of Wands, someone who's adventurous, someone who's really got it all together, someone who has the energy and the drive to move things forward as well. Um, she's very creative, passionate, and bold. And like I said, um, with the Knight of Wands, there's going to be great chemistry between the both of you, okay? Obviously, whatever gender you're attracted to. So beautiful, Virgo. Let's get you a crystal. Crystal for Virgo placement, please. What's this one? Centurine. So centurine is really your solar plexus, which does not surprise me with all this fire around here. Um, and really centurine is about taking action, listening to your gut, not your head, and really having the power, the passion, the creativity in, inside of you is going to be coming to life during August. With the sword energies that we've seen here, okay, and the karmic balance and the rebirth, it's saying release unnecessary worries, release the burden of worries. Anytime you feel you're getting them during August, Centurine is here to help you by releasing your worries to the angels, to God, to the universe for healing powers and solutions, okay? So the color yellow and orange are very important to you during the month of August. Let's pull you a um, challenge. What's your challenge for Virgo placements in August, please? Challenge for Virgo placements in August, please. Temperance. No, not temperance. Teamwork is the three of pentacles, basically. So... Um, your challenge with this is actually being okay with learning something new and being sort of the student, you know, um, knowing that you might need to work hard at something, this could be with your career, and August requires your commitment. There's going to be a growth here for you, all right? And we can see that with the death and the rebirth and the centurine really giving you the power that you need for success and determination and passion. So there's hard, there's hard work that's needed. And um, you might need to feel like, you know, you have to go back to the drawing board and learning something new in order to grow. Now, this could also mean that... Um, in August, you might feel that you need to, you might feel like you don't want to do t any teamwork or collaborate, but the, the, the idea here is to be open to collaborating, be open to new people, teamwork, okay, 
that's coming in to give opportunities to build on your success and to help you um so that is your challenge during august and your blessing during august is the fool card which is beautiful the fool is about taking a risk okay and your blessing is that you are ready to take risks you're going to be feeling that you want to take the risks you're not going to be acting from a reckless position you're going to be taking the opportunity to travel if it comes to you you're going to be taking that first chapter some might say you're taking huge risks and you're being careless um, but no, you know, you, you know that you need to take this risk to find this new beginning, to find the rebirth here. Um, there's an innocence in this energy as well. Um, and that is going to be your blessing in August, that you're able to see that actually I want to start fresh. I want to take this risk. I want to feel a bit liberated. I want to travel. Let's get you an angel message, Virgo. The, the, I also, like I said, crown chakra is very important for you in August. I'm feeling it a lot. Some of you could also be your throat chakra, okay? Um, I'm feeling extreme pressure in both. Um, power. <laughs> Interesting. Um, with this power card, the angels are giving you guidance to find your still quiet center, heal any anger, purify emotions, rely on your judgment and take your own decisions. Okay. The spiritual growth to take responsibility for your life, stand on your own two feet. There's true power based in inner strength, self-worth and confidence. And you're reminded that your essence is divine. And when you feel that you're at peace, Virgo, you're powerful and no one can upset or influence you. So know that in August, you are very powerful as long as you stay within that. And your affirmation is, I am serene, powerful and confident. Okay, this is where there's a challenge because often when we don't want to collaborate, where we're not committed we don't want to work with another team. Um, when we're needing to step in as a student or a learning or apprentice or whatever it is, we lack confidence. And so this card is really also with the power, the centurine crystal, all the fire energy, the breakthrough here on your career, the karmic scales and the finances. So it's actually a beautiful reading. Uh, for August. If you liked this reading and it resonated, please do like and subscribe. Revisit it, like I said, as many times and also share it with someone else who resonates with the Virgo placements as well. I'm sure they will appreciate that. Bye for now.